This is how to utilize the power of the square match to beat any booster. Hey everyone and welcome to a brand new video. Now I am really excited because we have got an awesome challenge today. We're going to be trying to beat a legendary booster with a diamond booster and showcasing how to beat anybody with square matches. Now before we dive in like every single one of my Match Masters videos, we have a unique giveaway. So this week's choice is between an SE booster box or a mystery pinata. Drop your comment down below and the one that gets the most comments is what we'll give away. Make sure you hit the like button make sure you subscribe good luck okay so here we go into a random studio and it looks like we have come across hot color and our opponent is a cleo so this is a cleo cadabra a legendary booster opponent and there is going to be five rounds as well so this is going to be a real tough challenge and uh, yeah i'd love to know what's the best scalp you've ever had in match masters i've done some videos recently where we use gold boosters beating diamond boosters but uh, this is going to be a real challenge with the standard l magneto but look at that two four matches right off the bat there those square matches they really are a absolute game changer in match masters and you kind of have to like reconfigure your brain after years of playing this game just going for the standard matches it definitely is out of my comfort zone looking for those four matches in a square but uh, i've got used to it now and i think the muscle memory is starting to play a factor okay one second left i'm just gonna go for some standard points there 160 points from our first round pretty decent let's see how they do with their cleo they're using their star maker perk just like we did as well but they don't have a clear perk like we do. I think the clear perk match with the clear booster is a good perk and booster combo. But let me know down below, what's your favorite perk and booster combo that you like to go with in Match Masters? And uh, yeah, obviously today's giveaway between an SE booster box or a mystery pinata. Make sure you get involved, guys. Make sure you show support for the awesome giveaways that we have on this channel. Okay, going crazy here with El Magneto. Let's see if we can keep racking up these points. I mean, it's about applying pressure at this point. Obviously, going for the four matches is great but we want to apply as much pressure as possible get as many points as we can to try and put the fear into them okay nice we've got a full match there before using our l magneto i mean by using the square matches it definitely gives you a whole new avenue of gameplay wow look at that all oh, so many points across the board huge explosion there i'm imagining to save our booster for the next turn as well 373 we have a 300 point lead here guys so this is going amazingly i mean i thought that uh, l magneto would struggle against an amazing booster like clear but so far, we are doing pretty well here. Yeah, they're using their Cleo pieces now, and uh, things are going to start to get interesting. Ah, uh, yeah, see, I understand why they actually use Cleo for a mode like Hot Color. Obviously, uh, being able to put those Cleo pieces on the Hot Color, the Chosen Color, is a very advantageous move. But they're just not getting lucky at the moment. The Cleo piece is not near uh, any of the Hot Colors. Obviously, it's about holding on now. I mean, they've caught up to us in points, so it's going to be about these last few rounds. Obviously, the standard El Magneso, not the best. It's pretty good, but uh, it's definitely definitely no match for a clear booster we put the special pieces together here ah so close to a booster activation we'll do it on the purples and yeah we'll just pop these off get ourselves a big amount of points and uh heading into round four we do have a slender lead i expect them to catch right back up with us though okay let's see what they do they've still got two moves though they managed to get an extra move there getting those square matches is uh proving good for them and for us as well and why are they not putting the clear piece onto the square match piece there we go that's what i would have done straight away because that's just going to give you uh, a huge amount of points. I mean, look, the whole board is going to pop off now. There we go. With the square matches, it can go absolutely chaotic. And uh, yeah, it's so powerful. Such a powerful new mechanic in Match Masters. Okay, there we go. My turn. Let's see what we can do now. I mean, we're behind by about 50 or 60 points. So the advantage is with our opponent, but we're not going to panic. We're going to keep on trying here. And uh, we're going to go right to the death and see if we can still take this victory. Okay, nice. We'll use that extra square match there and uh, hopefully get some things popping. Only one move left, nine seconds. So we're going to have to use our booster now i mean I'm, i try to save it because obviously you only get two bites of the cherry in each and every round so uh, we don't want to use it too quickly two seconds left and we'll just use that full match there and uh, that'll get things popping a little bit but we've obviously left them with some matches still popping off though okay we'll take that <laughs> so that gives us a full booster heading into the final round as well so 731 versus 598 they need to catch up to us and then some to have a chance of having a higher points tally okay they're getting pretty close now okay they're 
overtaking us. So we're going to need a big final round. But with a full booster waiting, I feel pretty confident here. I mean, time's running out for them. They're going to have to do something pretty crazy to get a big enough points lead over us. At the moment, 60 points over. I think we've been averaging more than that each round, but you never know. Uh, the clear piece as well, giving us uh, some extra points here at the end of the round. 850 now. So they're over 100 points ahead of us. Okay, time's up. Time's up. Okay, it's our turn. Final round. We have about 120 points we need to try and overcome. I'm sure we can do this. We'll activate our booster straight away, which pauses the timer, gives us a second to think. Okay, 50 points behind, 55 points behind, actually. We're going to be able to do this. No problem. We have this one in the bag. 45, 51. Another booster activation. Guys, we have managed to do this. We have managed to win this match. There's uh, no chance they can catch up to us now. We are ahead on points with an El Magneto versus a Cleo Cadabra. I can't quite believe it. It's uh, all my dreams have come true in this moment. We managed to beat a legendary booster with a standard booster. There we go. It's not going to be a three-star win. It's only going to be like a two-star win because it was pretty close on points and it was pretty sketchy towards the end. There we go. 100 trophies, 60 coins. But that's not what matters. What really matters there is that we managed to beat a much better booster. So hit the like button for this epic victory, guys. And don't forget, we have a giveaway between a SE booster box or a mystery pinata. So drop your comments down below. Make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you hit subscribe. I hope you enjoyed this Square Mash tutorial so that you can beat any booster in Matchmasters. And I'll catch you soon for more content.